The wild in me is the zigzag after image of a lightning tree. The first touch of the rain-lashed morning sea. It's a child climbing towards a cairn she can't see. My favourite thing to do is to have an idea in my head or even a line, a starting point for a poem and take that line out for a run or a walk. I'm really not myself when I'm sitting at a desk. I have to get outside to be able to think properly and to be able to be creative, I suppose. Nothing worth doing is ever instantly easy or instantly accessible. We've all got a bit of wild in us. When I look back at my life, I'm not going to wish that I spent more time answering emails. I'm going to wish that I spent more time in wild places where we can be free, where we can express ourselves and where we can reconnect with nature. Wild places are incredible habitats and ecosystems, but they don't just look after themselves. They need our help so that we can protect the environment for future generations and for us all to continue to enjoy. So I think it's absolutely vital that we connect with those places. And the best way to connect with it is to experience it yourself, to visit and to learn to love it. Wildness isn't something external, I think it's something that's in all of us already, we just need places to bring it out. The wild in me is wind undoing Heather's purple tapestry. It's the city dawn I carry to the highlands in my memory. All signposts north, an engine rattle, motorway poetry. The wild in me is sand dunes and their notebook secrecy.